Okay. In the year of our, in the year of the horns, 2018. Welcome to Friday Night Clive, live with Clivers, with special guest Archie Luxury. So, what are we going to talk about? Uh, watches or? Well, hello. Yes. Yes. So, what, are we, what do you want to do? Talk about watches or anything else? Now, people have been asking me all all over the place. How do we uh, how do we get our hands on the Archie? on the Archie soundboard. Now the soundboard now now we've had some I had now what happens is once you become a Patreon member what happens is once a week I send an email out and in that email the soundboard is included. So you sign up for the for, for Patreon. It may not happen in the 5 minutes that you've joined up. It may take a little bit longer than may take more than five minutes before you get the link but once you what are a patreon trim your fucking asshole. once you sign up you will then get access to the soundboard so wah, 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 wah. hey that's i i can't believe the stuff that's on there you know i can't there's more there's more shit every day I mean, it's, it's, it, yeah, every day is like, I, I, I wake up and look at the soundboard and every day is about Christmas. Every day is like Christmas. Yeah, that's pretty well, amazing that's, stuff there. Give us a fist watch check. What do you, fist, what do you think? Your, fist yeah. watch check. That's a very good thing. What am I wearing today? I'll tell you, Clivers. I'm wearing the Inji, the IWC Ingenua. What are you wearing? Well, I have been actually wearing for the last few days the uh, the Omega Seamaster Cosmic. Hashtag yes. Gerald Penta Daddy issues. But what I think I'm going to do right now, since it just turns 6, 10 p.m., I think I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it out. Kind of pull Mr. Rogers. Or, let's be honest, I'm Mark Goldberg. So instead... Uh, probably helps. <clears throat> yeah, it probably helps if you hold it on. Yes, that's. Uh, I got to tell you, that's one of the biggest regrets I have in modern watches is selling my no date sub. That was I was silly. I admit, I I put my hand up now. That was a dumb move. Okay. No. Tanzeels in the comments. Good evening, Fisters. Now, are there any other watches that you may have regretted selling? Oh, I, 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 I. Actually, you know something, Clive? I actually had a Sapphire 14270 36mm Explorer 1. And i got to tell you, that they are pretty cool watch. Like, it was sort of like a modern 1016. Like, mm -hmm. I actually do like the Sapphire Crystal. The Sapphire Crystal is kind of cool. Exactly. And uh, i got to say, it, it is a bit small if it's your only watch, but if you've got a collection like you have, I don't think the 36 mil is a problem at all. No, and, and especially, um, you know, especially it's, the same, it's, it's the same size as a date just, as a 36 millimeter date just, and it is so much more legible. And also, no yeah. polished center, center lakes. I see. So, yeah, actually. So I'm still liking, I'm still looking at, I'm still liking the um, the new Oyster Perpetual, the white and the black dial from, oh. Uh, here, now, here, now here is the problem. Here's the problem with the soundboard. This, well, the problem with the soundboard is that there's so much stuff on it. It's it's actually genuinely hard to find stuff. I was going to play Rolex. Yes. If I couldn't find their hand, they just had certain groupings. They just had certain groupings that just really played well with each other. You know. 
Mm. I gotta be completely honest with you. I love butt fuckers, butt fuckers. Okay, now ten, five dollars super chat by ten cell. Sorry, Archie. Do you think that Clive minuscule strangler got some ass last night, or did he go the Don Haynes route and just jack off to gilf adult vids? Either way, it's all good. Either way, it's all good. That's that that, and that's the perfect answer. I got to tell you that there. I got to tell you this. You know, and also, also, four K OLED TV. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think some of the the loneliest times in my life has been when I've been married. You know that? Oh yeah, because you're yeah. I, I think the least sex I've ever got, the most prudish least sex I've ever got, is when I've been married with a woman. And I, I remember one wife. I just said to her, "Either you improve the service delivery, or I fuck off." And she told me eventually, to fuck off. eventually, I'm going to stop whinging and just just leave you. That's what I said to her. And she said, good, good. You give me house. You give me house. You give me house. <laughs> I give you mortgage. I got to anyway. tell you, Clive, it's. Um... Yeah, it can be very lonely. You know, being married sometimes, Clive, is probably the loneliest period. People say myself being single now. Is it lonely? No. No, no, this is actually quite fun. The loneliest, the most depressing times in my life was when I was married, to be honest with you. I think it's a lot less depressing to be lonely by yourself. Mm. I've run out of beers, by the way, Clive. Well, do you have any scotch? I do have scotch, yes, yes, yes. Actually, yes, I do have scotch, yes, yes. I got to tell you something. I don't know if you saw my reviews I did yesterday. Yeah, I did. The class of Patek buyer is coming down. They're not just It's moving into the middle classes and fuck their their pretentious wanks. You know that? I got to tell you the truth. These new breed of Patek buyers. But he sent you an extra $5 for advice on how to buy a $20,000 watch. You know, you can, can you understand what I'm getting at, or you can't, Clive? Uh, yeah, I can. I can because I mean, uh, yeah, because yeah, it, but it's almost like you know, pretentious actually, because rich people. Uh, okay, well, rich people are the new. Okay, here we go. Five dollars super chat, Archie. When you're bos when you were boning your Asian ex-wives. Did you talk to them by imitating in broken English like you do with every Asian you meet? Normally they don't respond to me. They just grunt at me. Good grunt or bad grunt? Neutral grunts. Ooh, okay, that's not good. One ninety-nine, a two-pound super chat by Bugs Malone. Tell us about your cashew nuts, Archie. I do love cashew nuts. I must confess that I'm a luxury nut man. And um, yeah, I got to tell you, um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I love my nuts. I I, I, uh, I I do love cashews. I've been eating pecans. Do you eat pecans, Clive? Um, In pie, yes. I just like pecans, but I reckon that's probably one of the best nuts. I don't mind walnuts, walnuts as well. Almonds, I love almonds. Do you like almonds? Yeah, almonds are good. Um, you know, just just a gold fashioned peanut, though, to be honest. That's see, peanut's not actually a nut. Did you know that? Well, fact, yes, it's actually a legume. But yeah, but yeah, but it still has nut on the end. Yes. So. So, if there's two things we have determined that a Archie loves gay Jewish black men, yes. and b Archie loves nuts, is yes. nuts. Yes, yes, premium start, nuts. We want quality nuts, not cheap nuts. Right, or legumes. Yes, macadamia nuts are the best. Oh, macadamia! They are very, very yes, yes, yes. Macadamia ice cream—that's my favorite. I often go to. When I had money, I used to go to Baskin Robbins and get a double scoop. 
Now, vintage Rolex watches, and he, you know, he's another attorney in uh, South Carolina. He actually has his pulse on the, uh, on the, uh, pulse on the, no, his finger on the pulse on the uh, roll on the used market, and he's actually saying that Patek dress watches are getting softer. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I think I think it's the whole watch genre. What's what's getting soft? Patek. If you look at which ones are going through the roof, it's the Nautilus and the Aquanaut. Um, yeah, I I agree. I, I'm not complaining. Yep, yep. You're right. You're right. They definitely are getting softer. Uh, the trends of fashion. The fashion. Who wears a fucking tuxedo? Who goes to full dress situations? This is the new millennium. But on the other, yeah. You know, I don't know. Vintenye, I, I 5107s can be had pretty cheap. How cheap, Vintenye? Actually, hold on. I tell you, I sold mine for, <laughs> mine was white gold. Box. Uh, Another okay. food chat. The glory of spaghetti wiring. Look at that. Just quickly, I sold my 5107 for 18500 US dollars. I'm not sure whether they they are that high now. I think they've come back a bit. Uh yeah. Now, or do you think, or do you think, now are you talking about like the uh, little tiny thirty? Okay, well, two five dollars super, super chats. Graham Bedouz. Hey Archie, what is your opinion of the Longines military heritage military COSD featured in Houdinki? Oh. I gotta be completely honest with you. I've got to be completely honest with you. That's the cool one on the green NATO, isn't it? Green NATO strap. It's got no, it's the. On, it's very. No, it's on an aged leather strap. Okay, let's go into screen sharing, shall we? Okay, let's go to screen sharing. Okay, bring her up. Bring her up. This is very much like the IWC Mark Eleven. And keep in mind, they also did another version of it. And we also, and uh, Council Witch will get to you in just one second. Latest. I do like the look of it, Clivers. Okay. Uh, watches of Basil, the best grill watches. No, it's certainly not going to be that. It's long jeans. The best everyday watches of long jeans. I mean, of uh, Basil World 2018. Ooh, Tudor. Who, whose Tudor is that? What, what, what Tudor? When did that come out? Uh, I don't know. I think they talked about in some country in Asia last last week. Okay, okay the 1948 Small Seconds, Seiko Presage, <laughs> Big Crown Pointer, yeah, Black Bay 58. Now, come on. Damn it. Trouble is, Hodinki puts out so much stuff that's actually kind of tough to keep up with all. Mm -hmm. Uh... Legend Diver, that's kind of funky. That's kind of, the Legend Diver's kind of funky, but come on. Sorry. Uh, high Beat, Call Tech Philippe Caltrava, Patek Philippe does Zenith, Pilot Watch. Dark Side of the Anus. Here we go. Oh, and real quick while we're scrolling this up, what would you prefer? Ro Rolex Date Just 41 Gunmetal, I, I guess you mean Rhodium, or GMT 2. All black. What's the GMT, best all-around? Black, Rolex? black, GMT. You've got to go for the GMT. Mm. Now, Clive, I don't know if that's the right watch. I've got to tell you, Clive. Let me no, just share. That is, that is the right one. That is the right one. Also, $25 server chat for Beats. Uh, okay. Turbo, anyone unbanned Don Haynes yet? To my unicorn, thank you for loving me unconditionally and equally. Thank you for letting me fill you up deep and full every drop. Thank hey, you. Also for swallowing me, my English princess. Okay. Let me just bring something up, Clivers. You want me to read that one again? It's a twenty five dollar super yes, chat. Sorry, yes, please, Clive, read that. From from Turbo. Did any has anyone unbanned Don Haynes yet? No. No. To my unicorn to my unicorn, thank you for loving me unconditionally and equally. Thank you for letting me fill you up deep and full. Every drop. Thank you for also swallowing me, my English princess. 
Turbo, he's Australian. I'm just saying, man. All right. So, Clive, okay, let's, let's go this? back. What's this, Clive? That is the Longines military watch, part of their heritage line. That's the green khaki NATO on it. Um, uh, I thought, I think, you know, it, no, it's more of a, no, it's not a NATO. Do you see the holes right there? No, so it's not a NATO. That is like distressed leather. Uh, which screen are you looking at, Clive? I'm looking at the one in front of me. Let's pull up the picture, nice and big. Am I not? Okay. By Sam Malone, I love Friday with Clyde. You mean Archie and Clyde? Legends. All right. Yeah. This I one. Do you, see the, do you see the one on my screen right now? Just one minute. The one it's on your screen. Yep. Yep. What, what's the now, one I had up? What's the one I had up? That's a different watch, is it? Yes, it is. That's a different watch. Okay. No, I mean, how much I, is I, your one? How much is that one there you've got up? What's what's it retailing for? Well, it's going to be introduced in the last half, you know, somewhere after sometime after June. It's going to be 2,000 Swiss francs, roughly 2,100 American dollars. Turbo B1, we watch Clyde, our two lecture and Clivers together. She, by the way, thinks Clive, you've lost a lot of weight and not bad looking for your age. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Turbo. And I got to be honest with you. I actually like it. it. I think it's a good looking watch, but yeah. the, the value proposition, when I start thinking about for 2000 US dollars, I tell you one thing for sure, I'd fucking rather have that Air King you sold for 2000 US dollars, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Turbo. I mean, uh, sorry, Vintage Rolex Watches loves it. He, Even he at, actually he turned around and flipped and made like uh, a few hundred, quite a few hundred bucks off of it. Oh, that's, that's great. Cool. That's good. Good. That's good. But I'm saying, I I don't know whether I'd be putting two thousand. That's a lot of money. I don't think you're going to see a return on investment, really, are you? Okay, I meant the one with the leather, but I told you with the green NATO. My bad, Graham. Yeah, I know. We know what you're talking about. Um, yeah. So so you're talking about this one, so. But it, it, it's vintage done right, or faux vintage, basically. The problem you is, know? Longines did so many bad things with their court shitters, you know. I don't know whether they know how to make a real watch now. Hold on. Archie, but you've done so many bad things, and we still love you anyway. Yeah, but long jeans, you know. Let me go and get some pecans. You just cover me for a minute. I'm going to go and get some nuts. McGaster, oh, my God, I hope you guys are watching. Yeah, so, okay. I Oh, you made a grand. Okay, you're right. Sorry. Yeah, that was seriously undervalued. Now, and, oh, right. Here's what I like about this one. It's simply the fact that, okay, um, She's 20, Clyde, and she does print work. Granted, she's just, just for the local department stores for taking as a pretty decent compliment. I also also don't fucking cuck me either, Rancher. I don't know what you're talking about exactly, but I will try not to. Please, your comments on the Patek Fleet Nautilus Perpetual County 5704G presented at Basel World 2018. All right. Twenty dollars, Cesar Aguare. Okay, PP five seven zero four G. Fine. <sighs> really, seriously, guys. What the hell? Okay, here. Why, why, why is this not pulling up? What the hell, Google? 57, oh, 5740, derp. Sorry, I suffer from adult onset dyslexia. Okay, Archie. All right. Hey, okay, Clyde, how are you? Uh, yes. quite, quite super, $20 super of Jap. Quite super Jap. Mm -hmm. That would be a 
super chat. Now, a twenty dollars super chat by Cesar Aguare. Yes. Please I mean, comment on, yes, by the on, way, the Philippe, on the Patek Philippe Perpetual Calendar fifty seven forty G presented at Basel World. Yes. Twenty nineteen. I've got it up on the screen. Wow. Nice, nice, nice pecan. Cucking would you be you, Clyde, fucking my my girl? Okay, look, Turbo, seriously, what the hell am I going to do with a 20-year-old? She'd break me in half. Even if she was just, yeah, even if she was only halfway in shape, she'd break me in half. Be fun, but, yeah, on the other hand, but okay. This is, this is a white gold. Okay, Turbo, calendar. Turbo, I tell you what. If you send in a hundred dollars to unban Don Haynes, I will promise on faithfully on a religious text of some sort on the air that I will never cuck your girl. Deal? Yeah, so, so one okay. <clears throat> also if you want Starchy to uh, start drinking scotch or doing push ups, please super chat ten dollars. So, Clive, um, I really do love this watch here. Perpetual calendar, <clears throat> my God, that would be absolutely gorgeous. It takes its inspiration from the 5712. Oh, Kelsowitz. Kelsowitz wants to know what's the best Rolex is under 10,000. Uh, boy, that's a toughie. No date sub if you're buying new. If you're buying used... <clears throat> uh, yeah, I mean, I'd say, I'd say really anything in the Rolex Sports range under that. Um, it's if you use to get the best deal you can. If getting new, get the well, either way, get the one you want. Um, I think any any of them are going to be. If you if you're a buy and hold sort of guy, are you going to be money? Which one would I like? <clears throat> Puffy. Well, I hate to, I hate to be that guy, but I would probably I would. I'd probably squeeze in some extra money and or I'd probably go Pepsi. Mm. Or, well, or or maybe the GMT. I actually I take that back. I, I would go um, I'd go with the black GMT. So we are so running behind. After all the hate and money about them, Rolex has stolen the show and mugged the rest of the competition at Basel. Yeah. I mean I hate to say it, but if you like Rolex, they they, they abuse you, they take it's like an abusive relationship. They, mm. you, they take you for granted. They uh, treat you like crap. And then when you think, I'm, I'm done, I'm not going back, that's it, finito, over. And they introduce uh, something really cool. Yeah, like the, like the, like the GMT Pepsi, or in my <clears> case, <throat> the, the Oyster Perpetual, or the Oyster Perpetual 39 in black and white. Mm. So, yeah. I, oh, by the way, oh, uh, Turbo. I'm out of ammo. No more. No more money. Okay. Well, Turbo. Now, oh, uh, Ving Tinye sent ten dollars. Drinking time. Oh, thank you. Thank no, you. No, Ving. I also Cardinal. And I, as out of cardinal respect us, I also uh, courtesy. I sent you a link. Oh, also, should we invite Doctor BB? Sorry, uh, Doctor Bruce on. You're the host. Why are you asking me? Oh. You can invite whoever you want on. All right. Let me send something real quick. It's your show. I'm just the sidekick. I uh, know. Actually, I'm very much the sidekick. Drinking time. Also, $5 super chat. What do you think of the 18 karat gold con long jeans conquest from the 50s? Are they wearable? Ah, uh, let me. I'll have to pull this up real quick. Oh, live. I'm the sidekick. You're the pontiff. Did you have a knock on the head or something? Sorry. No, you're the you're the pontiff, and I'm, I'm the sidekick. Did you have a knock on the head or something? Ha <laughs> ha. Were, were you mugged by a lady boy on the way back to the? Hold on. I was okay. mugged by a lesbian. How about a lesbian? Will that do? You're politically correct. Um, lawn jeans conquest. Taro Taguchi. 
He wants to know, do you, what do you think of vintage 18 karat gold Lon Jean's Clown Quest from the 50s? Ooh. I actually had a reissue of a 1950s. Ooh. You remember my long jeans I had or not, Clive? When yeah, actually. Do you remember that? Um, vaguely. Also, I'm trying to do three things at once here. Yeah, actually. This is not a this is not a gold conquest from the fifties. It's yeah. more like a steel Calatrava from the sixties. Oh wait. Yes. I think I'll put on my long jeans. Um, okay. What how big is the um Okay, now, Taro Taguchi, I don't want to sound racist, but I presume you're Asian. Is that racist? No, I don't think it is, Clive. Okay, well, you know. I don't think it's racist in the slightest. Good. Well, you know, with Taro Taguchi, well, he could be Latino or something, just really dramatic. Mm. But Or he could be, actually, he could be Peruvian. You know, actually, there's a lot of Asians and, yes. yeah, okay, you knew that, okay. Uh, 1950s. 18 karat gold. 40 millimeter. Well, no, that's got to be the new one. Vintage. All right. Let's go to which website? Okay. Now, by the way, which website should someone go to, you think, for just pull up something that's more detailed information uh you tell me clive well actually i think the first and the best source for information <laughs> on a warm luxury watch purchase would be uh the archie luxury channel there you go clive actually, thank and, you and i think so of course you can always pay for a paid review yeah and also if you need watch buying advice if it's something that's crucially important if it's crucially important, um, you could send Archie extra money for like express concierge service. Yes, or, or they also, could do a phone call. They do the phone calls. That's the instant way to get assistance. Because or um, if you have an if you have an if you have a serious question about a um, true luxury watch purchase involving tens of thousands of dollars, you can send Archie luxury twenty dollars for my amusement. That's exactly it, Clivers. You hit it on the head there. Clivers, um, the long jeans. I'm trying to find my photo. I can't find the fucking thing. But anyhow, it was 35 uh, mil. It was a reissue, right? Okay. This one's, oh, this one's 35. There ain't a damn thing. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. Mm. A, I like that a bunch. Let's, let's Look, try the only thing is, would I buy it? I got to be honest with you guys. I wouldn't fucking buy that garbage. Stay away from long jeans unless it's really cheap. Well, how about this one? A Longines Conquest, eighteen karat solid gold automatic. Now you have it's to. It's thirty-four mil, mil, but Clive. Okay, we established the guy's Asian, have we not? Still too small, Clive. Asians like super big ones to compensate. You're talking about watches, right? Okay, here's another one. Asians uh, well, are why the Pam crisis, why Pam exploded. Purely Asian market. Okay, and here here's another one for 35, 35 millimeters. And for now, okay, would I spend three thirty two hundred bucks? No. Let me give you a okay, guys. Let me give you an Uberoki advanced tip. Uh, okay, Kelsowitz, I would like to credit all my super chats this month towards Don Haynes unbanning. I want to ask questions and have the money add up to unban him. Okay, Kels, what you realize that's going to be kind of hard. And also, if you also send it in for a drink or for something else, you know, you can't say, here's $10 for a drink. And then later on, then, then to say, well, well, that $10 for the drink, I want that to go for Don Haynes instead. So if you just throw money at Archie like a drunken sailor, possibly. It is nice that people do care for Don Haynes. I must say the yeah. sentiment is very, very cool. Archie, what would you rather do which of the following? Buy lawn jeans, press Fat Rico's buttocks to the sound of R. Dobson's love hits, or fist M. Goldberg? 
buy a long jeans. Oh, I, full I retail, should... full re compared to those other options. I will go in there and pay full retail. Well, and okay, and okay, Uber. Here's an Uber uh, advanced tip. If you're getting a gold watch, and mm -hmm. it's not a heritage, I mean, if it's not a, a true luxury brand with staying power, uh, Rolex, Omega, Breitling, pay no more than the scrap value of the gold for the watch. I don't even know if Breitling, I'd even pay fucking, Breitling is make some fuck, they plummet so badly. Gold, Breitling, fuck. There is dog shit, and then there is dog shit. Right. But, and like I said, I mean, that's nice. I mean, but I'm looking at that, and then all, all the long jeans, the automatic, the last one we looked at, that kind of has a nice, almost universal Genève look to it. I mean, it is so, that's schmicko for, for vintage. That's schmicko for vintage. Would I pay $3,200 for it? No. No, no, no. Now, if on the other hand, there's a neat little. If there's a neat little, if you run across a nice little, uh, oh, if you run across a nice little lawn jeans that's vintage, you can get it for, oh, I don't know. If you can get it for a couple of hundred, well, why not? Archie, you used it, a $5 super chat by Tan Zeal, and sorry. Archie used to tout the Tudor Black Bay ETA being the collectible one since it was a short run of the movement, but now you're recommending the in-house. Yes. Well, as far as Archie Luxury is concerned, there's two types of movements. You have those that are in-house, and everything else is out-house. That's right. Yes. That's exactly it. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. You're totally, Bye. You're, you're totally stealing that now, aren't you? Yeah. No, okay, you're hundred percent, hundred percent, Clive. Uh, well, no, and and again, no, I and guys, real life is often difficult. Real life is often complicated. That is overly simplistic. That is something. When you say something like that to uh, that that that's something that's if it's too if you take a complex problem, you try to come up with a simple solution, it's not going to work. And, and no. the, 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 the whole two, the and actually I was actually watching a nice inter, inter, interview by Jean Claude Biver. Yes. And by the way, I, does anyone else have the Biver Fever? Oh, okay. Uh, Robert Padilla, uh, just wanted to say hi. Sorry, can't stay working. Robert, Robert is awesome. Robert sent me just some awesome, uh, just from Buffalo Wild Wings. Why he sent so, you what? What did he send you? Uh, he sent me a. He man, he that he man, Robert hooked me up with uh, some gift cards from Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. What are they? Can you please explain? They're goddamn tasty. Uh, they're wild wings and uh, or buffalo wings. You know the little parts of the chicken that they uh, season up, season up, and there's just a ton of different seasonings. It's not exactly health food, but damn, it's tasty. So I uh, not actually, exactly yeah, health food. It's not exactly. It doesn't sound bad. Is it as good as KFC or better? Okay. Archie, on a, on a scale of one to Fat Rico, how big is the Clive Minotaur Wrangler channel become in the hierarchy in the guild of YouTube watch gurus? I, I think Clive's channel is going to explode. I tell you honestly, I I, I, uh, I think he's... Uh, look, I, I, I support Cl Clive. Clive's allowed to have his own channel. I don't own the man. He is... Clive is a friend. I encourage him to do his own channel. There's nothing wrong with that. He's very kindly let me put some of his videos on my channels, which obviously I put on both because I like to make sure no one misses a clip and it's free Google Ads money. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah. But Clive's channel, I reckon it's great. I reckon it's fantastic. Clive is a... I like his videos. He just, he just himself. Clive is himself. He talks about watches and dilemmas he has and um no i i really get it i really get it i really get it i i um i think clive's on the money i think he's on the money i'm a little bit cheesed off he sold the um the yacht master too i didn't approve of that 
I wish you would get rid of that president. I really do wish you would do that because I kind of told him in a nice way not to buy it in the first place, but it's not terrible. It's not a terrible watch, mind you. It's not terrible, but I, I think Clive's channel is going to explode. And the thing is, Clive's not buying views or he doesn't fucking do anything. Clive just puts video out there and you watch it, you watch it. You don't want to watch it. Just fuck off then. Yeah. And the thing is, well, in well, fact, the, Clive the wanted is, to make I, it kind of only for people who really were interested in it. If you don't want to watch, don't watch. He's not even, we're not even doing cross promotion or anything. He doesn't want punters there. He wants, he doesn't even want the nasty fuckers over there. Do you? No, actually it's a, it's a nice little channel and I'm delighted. And, um, boy, um, there are some people though that really do challenge me and I enjoy that. I mean, yes. what's, what's kind of nice though. What's kind of nice is if I'm proven wrong, that means I've learned something. And to me, this whole journey is about learning things and buying cool shit. Well, it's mostly about buying cool shit, but you also learn things, hopefully. Such as don't mm -hmm. flip your two-line uh, no-date subs. Don't flip your two-line no-date subs. Yeah, that was a fucking silly thing I did there. No, oh, by the way, uh, Bugsy Malone, dollar ninety nine super chat, about to explode. He's worried Archie's got dynamite. Now, actually, now, what is a good resource for people that, <clears throat> that for people that um, are concerned that they have having to look at it, make a decision or a choice involving selling or buying a luxury watch? <clears throat> The best resource they can do is my great book on Amazon.com, my acclaimed book, Luxury to Last. That is a very highly has, regarded yeah. book for $37. Okay. I know. I know it's very short. Yes, I agree. But the advice yeah. in there, it's the other thing you can do is, is, is I do paid yeah. reviews, guys. Pay, look, look in the description in this video here. You will see ways to help Archie. Also, paid advice. Paid advice. One hour is 50 US dollars. Yeah, and also, uh, oh, also, I did, I was watching, uh, I was also watching the show with Seth Warren last night. That was pretty good. Okay, Archie, do your best impersonate, this is from Tanzil. Yeah. Do your best impersonation of Clive the Rancher saying the following, the rare bird, Duty Robson, let's all be good to each other. Okay, go okay. ahead. The rare bird, Duty Robson. Let's all be good to each other. Um, you know, you know, I'm not from Minnesota, eh? <laughs> uh, uh. But I could be from Minnesota because I think you have to be blonde to live in Minnesota. Every person Minnesota. I've seen from Minnesota is blonde. He's blonde. Yeah. Any desire yeah. to go to New York? Uh, you know, actually, oh, here's a five two dollar super chat. <laughs> oh my God, Kelswitz, Clive, how much to call Fed using soundboard only? Well, okay. Uh, I think we should leave him alone. I, I don't want to provoke it. I've tried to fix the pr the problems. You, I've tried you to. Actually, you actually did reach out to him in friendship. I did. I was trying to fix things, get things going. We've both got a common enemy. But it was thrown back in my face, so that's fine. Wait, that's fine. You mean Piaget? Sorry. You mean Piaget? Yeah, something like that. But okay. um, yeah, I, I got to tell you, super chat by a dollar not two pound super chat by Bugs Malone. Rudy and Don reunion for the Christmas special. Oh, yes. uh, by the way, I have also noticed if you go if you on the iPhone, mm -hmm. when I was actually pulling it up in, oh. Oh, hey, Mark, shall we, I, I think I'm going to have Mark. Oh, Mark is going to join us. Marky Mark in the Funky Bunch. Yes, Hell get him yeah. on. Get him oh, on. I love, I love Marky. I love Mark. Mark is almost like my big gay Jewish mama, except he's loving and supportive and, and alive. Love Mark. Mark is a genuinely sharp guy. Ah, I love Mark. He's the dog trainer, you mean? Yes. No, generally sharp guy. 
No, I love um, that Marky. Marky, Marky is is. Uh, I always like his positiveness. He's oh. always so positive when he comes on. You know. He is. He is. Oh, also, I also talked to Max Levinson. Yes. My little Max is my little Hebra. Max is a great guy. I was talking to him. I texted him this morning. He said he might want to do something. I said, hey, ask Clive. It's Clive's show. I'm just the sidekick. Okay, New York Punter, $2. Archie, what are your thoughts on South Korean birds? Marcus they, Cummins. Okay, yeah, the very, too stuff. much plastic surgery. Too much plastic surgery. A lot of South Koreans are really into the surgery. But Are, um, we, talking like, are we talking about titty surgery or are we just talking about no, overall surgery? They have face surgery. They have nose surgery. They have white skin whitening they have so much fun. that's the surgery capital of the world also a very high suicide rate i love them i love them um, i also i would love to go to north korea by the way okay el chupacabra what is a php no idea well it's 250 of them i'm gonna have to look that up and say hold on <laughs> what exactly hey alexa Alexa, think, what is a PHP in currency? Here's something I found on Wikipedia. The Philippine peso. Oh, Philippine. referred to by its Filipino name, peso. Alexa, the stop. Currency of the Philippines. Alexa, stop. Alexa, who is Paul Pluto? Here's something I found on Wikipedia. Pluto is a dwarf planet in the Kuiper Belt, a ring of bodies. Alexa, the stop. Ocean. Spells bad as my fucking vacuum. So okay, how vacuum. much is uh, how much? Okay, uh, boy, that's an awkward question. Hello, friends and humanity. I'm from New York City, living in Minnesota. What is the name of the company making nice Pam straps? Now that you also have someone that's making a a um, sponsoring you, Mark Goldberg. Hello, Mark. Gentlemen, I use that term loosely. Thank you for having me. Mark, I missed you so much. You know that? Also, yeah. You know what happened? What happened? I accidentally developed a social life. I don't know how that happened. But <laughs> oh, Mark. All, all of a sudden, I had stuff to do. I apologize. I missed you, boys. Missed you, boys. Oh, I, I, you know, like you said, and I always have enjoyed your uh, dry, uh, dry humor, Mark. Well, we, there's there's kind of a uh, move afoot. There's some people wanting to unban Don Don Haynes. Well, you know, now, money talk, money talks and Don Haynes walks. Hey, is, now I wanted to ask you something, Mark. If you don't mind, is that okay? Anytime you want, Mister Paul. Okay, I had a girlfriend who was living in a very cold place. Okay. Well, wait, it's let's let's get, let's knock the super chats out first. Sorry. Okay. Um, Okay, El Chupacabra, what happened in January? That was some really, like, fourth-grade shit. Uh, I appeared on someone else's watch channel because I wanted to talk about watches. Archie has a friend who does not like this other watch channel. There was there was uh, words exchange. There was banning. There was unbanning. Uh, by the way, guys, please do not send Suckahorn poison cigarettes. <laughs> I have on very good authority. They only serve to make him stronger. Thank you. Anyway, um, so yeah, it was that. It was just quickly. It was quickly gotten over, and yeah, it was a uh, yeah. I, I I had a run in with the sucker horn myself there, and uh, I got to tell you, I came off second best. That I old man is off. fierce. That old man is he's, fierce. He, he, look, he's a lovely guy. Got a harder goal, but he turns against oh, yeah. you, man. He can be a cunt. That guy is a cunt. The only now, thing holding John Suckerhorn together is the nicotine and mean. And this is, he is not a man to be trifled with. That is, no, my, no, 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 no. I, I feel like, I'm being watched. like, honestly, John, I love you, but I feel like I'm being watched. I feel like there's flying monkeys and minions that know what I'm doing at all time and are reporting back to Melbourne. It's, it's just a strange feeling that I have. Uh, it's kind of like that Games of Thrones character with the sparrow with the sparrows. We've got a bunch of super chats stacking up here. Okay, we are st we are getting up. Yeah. Mark, which of the following YouTube gurus channels would be enhanced if the if the host grew a mullet? AVG, Fat Rico, Boston Daniels, Spruce Williams, Clive. Well. Boston Daniels had a mullet. If you, if you go back, if you mm. go back, 
Now, I mean, he's in Japan, I think, so... You know, I don't know how that fucker holds the camera so long, so steady when he's making his videos. After 30 seconds, I'm fucking, my hand, I'm twitchy. and My hands are twitching like a fucking, yeah. uh, you know. He's in, he's in Japan, and they have this amazing invention called the selfie stick. Um, I, I myself do not have one, so once in a while I've got to duct tape the phone to my penis, and then I just watch, you know, and then I just like kind of hold it out there. But I think he's using a selfie stick. So um, I think uh, Boston Daniels has already uh, has already done that. Um, so I, I'm voting for Clyde. And Clyde, I would like to challenge you to um, you know get one of those hats that have the hair. You know, it's like a hat with a built-in mullet. So we, we may need to we may need to send you one of well, those. Well, there's no uh, there's no way you, I I wouldn't be able to do it for court guys, so it wouldn't be at work. It have to be. For and by the way, in honor in honor of you, I'm pinning on my uh, biggest. In your face, watch. You're wearing a shitter just for me? That's too kind of you. That's a Zenith. It's a Zenith El Primero defined. <laughs> widely yeah. held to be widely held to be the nadir of Zenith development. The uh, the nadir, the Zen is it the nadir of Zenith or is it the Zenith of Zenith? But it, it's got rubber in the middle. No, so. Right. But the rubber is finely textured. The rubber the the rubber is ribbed for my enjoyment. So basically, you could like strap that on as a snow tire if you run into some kind of, you know, like adverse driving conditions. By the way, I would like to show my shitter. It is a, uh, it's a Breitling, and we missed a super chat, which I will read since you missed it. It's from Neo, and it says, Hello, friends and humanity. I'm from New York City, living in Minnesota. Hey, what's the name of the company making mm. nice Pam straps? And I don't no, know. Who there's, you might be talking about two. Now, there's one. Archie is. Currently being sponsored by Wayne Safety. Is it Wayne Safety? No, that's the other guy. Um, the other, who's the strap company? Oh, there's a couple there. I've got one place, Barton. Barton watch bands. Okay, but I got to tell you, you know, you know who to who's told me about some great straps? Tanzeel. He he's got these great golf a golf strap, which is from uh, CheapNatoStraps.com. Oh yeah, I saw that. Do they come in colors? It's so for fucking men? cool. You know the golf. You know the, the 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 petrol, the racing strap. It looks so fuck. I want to get one of those for my um, Explorer too. Okay, uh, New York punter. Okay, El Chico Cabro. Thanks for answering the awkward question. Um, Hatsy says I should do a Brett Michaels hair and bandana. No, you need hair to do a hair bandana. You skipped oh, another. Oh my, Clivey, you well, skipped. Well, but however. Suck a horn. John, I would like to know, John, if you have flying monkeys following me in Chicago. I feel your. I feel your. I feel. You know what? John Suckerhorn is like the flaming eye in Lord of the Rings. He's always watching, and and I, I feel like he's like he's a Saruron. I feel like he's always watching me. Sauron. 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 Yeah, I feel like I feel like Mithran beer. To his except the, eye surrounded, except the eye is surrounded by cigarette smoke. Uh, it's the only thing holding him together. It's like I had a Ford once, a 1965 Ford Country Squire sedan, and um, that thing never Country broke. Country Squire it, sedan. Yeah, it was as long. It was like driving around in your living room. It was. It was about 10 meters long. It was a very big car. Okay, uh, Kelsenwitz, five dollars. Mark, in support of this channel, will you? Will you, and how much will it cost the viewers to see you perform tricks with your dogs on camera? Yes, absolutely I will. Um, fellatio is going to cost a whole lot extra, but, you know, send me a list of what you need. We skipped another one, by the way. Uh, Stephen K. says, Happy Easter, Paul, Clive, and Mark, and I would like to wish the entire listening audience a happy uh, zombie day. Uh, being of the Jewish persuasion, I don't know what this is all about, but I, I know you people celebrate Zombie Day, so, you know. Yeah. Bless you all. Well, Passover. May is you, it Passover? May the Passover be. I think so. I only know when my mother calls and reminds me. So it must be. Oh, I, think nice. like, I think it's tonight. I better call my oh, mother. Okay. Reminds me. Tansel, Tansel, I'm sorry. $5. Mark, not sure if you've been keeping up with the AC3 channel in between ballet lessons. <laughs> But Arch has now said he likes Tag Heuer. What are your thoughts on this shit? 
<laughs> it's very clear. Listen, you know, I, as a dog trainer, I, I have to worm my dogs on a quarterly basis so that they retain a, a clean tract, you know, a clean digestive tract. You know those carpet beetles in, 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 in your... Oh, uh, yes. Well, I'm quite certain that you have inhaled some and they're they are starting to eat their way through your brain. Like oh yeah, like Star Trek, like Star Trek Two, Wrath of Khan. Right, where they right. You know, there's one of those things. It's like an ear with <laughs> it, it eats its way in. They go right through your brain. They come out the other side as like a moth. So Archie, his 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 newfound respect for Tag Hoyer is really an indication that he needs he needs to be wormed on a more regular schedule. That's really all. He does not wear a flea collar, but I think at this point we need a worming. Fifty uh, fifty Filipino pesos. A question by uh, El Chupacabra. That's a dollar, I think. I think that's a that's one U.S. dollar, I believe. I think. Okay. Who's Don that's Haynes? Okay. Don Haynes is a gentleman who is a, a watch aficionado, has a very unusual little watch channel, and his grandfather invented underpants. So he's independently wealthy. That's Don Haynes. He's our beloved. Don Haynes is an idiot savant. He is an unusual man who knows more about movements than... Uh, than even the than even a proctologist. When you well, say I, think Mark, I think Mark, I think you're half right. Yeah. What's the what, which where which, which there? Figure it out. Okay, and joining us is Dr. B. I mean, sorry, joining us is Dr. Bruce. Dr. Bruce, hey. welcome. Are you? Hello, there? Bruce, this no. is the first time you are calling us where you are not operating in a bathroom or an airport. I'm actually uh, home. Right. Two dollars super chat. New two dollars kneeling by Stephen K. Don Haynes is a premature ejaculator. That's you can solve that by the way. You know those big blue rubber bands that come on broccoli? You can use that to right. solve premature ejaculation. But don't ask me to know that. Okay, no Steve let me address this. Stephen, quit over exciting him before your date with him. <laughs> You got to, you got to pace it up. All right. Um, Don is basically the Rain Man of watch. Hey, hey, uh, uh, Doc, can I ask you a quick question? Absolutely. So my Not Japanese, to. one of my Japanese girlfriends, I texted her and say, "Why you never text me back?" And she came back and said, "I'm sorry, I changed my work. So busy." What does that mean, Doc? Doctor, doctor, give me the flu. What does that mean, Doc? I think this goes outside of a, sort of a medical question. And I got to say that I, I don't. Maybe she I, just ain't into you anymore, fat boy. It means I mean, that her shift at the tug and rub has changed. She uh, has a, she has a large large customer, and as soon as he fires her, she'll be back. I think she's being nice. Five dollars super chat, gentlemen, from Neo. Archie, don't listen to the bad advice. Get the Steve McQueen, but only the caliber eleven. That is, that's exactly that's what I said. I'm getting the caliber eleven. That's right. That's what I said. It's not carpet beetles eating my brains out. <laughs> no, that's something. The carpet uh, that's showing itself entirely differently. Uh, okay. Super chat. Tanzil Anzari. Dr. BBW, do you recommend vigorous and, uh, I'll tell you who I really love at the moment. Gay men? Gay black Jewish men, actually. Oh, by the way, Mark, What's have happened? you seriously oh. seen the new Archie soundboard? You sent it to me. That's brilliant. Oh, my God. <laughs> Read the super oh, my chat. God. Oh, my God. Okay, super chat, yes. Dr. BBW, do you recommend vigorous masturbation in 1990s hente to build the wrist strength prior to a platinum Daytona purchase? <laughs> Oh God! Jeez. Well, you know, uh, I only think I only think 1990 through 1997. After 1997, it started getting commercial, and they started compromising their artistic integrity. I think you can get yourself into a Zenith pretty easy there. A Zenith Daytona. You don't have to do all that workout business. But with those solid center links, you sort of need to develop a little bit of you know like full arm. You know, because those center links are solid. Platinum, platinum's pretty heavy, heavier than heavier than gold. My theory is, by the way, I do have to tell you this. I will make a small confession. She did look a lot better without any clothes on than with clothes on. 
Don't you think platinum is for, is for people with really big balls? Because it, it looks a lot like steel. So if you're, if you're wearing a $50,000 watch made out of platinum, what you're really saying is you don't really give a crap if anybody knows it or not. Yeah. Okay. As regards to your question, Archie, about uh, your Japanese girlfriend. Yes. Uh, there's a response on the board saying she is loving others. Long time. Uh, okay. Archie, you were going to ask me about a girl that living in a cold place. Yeah, okay. So I went to visit her, right? And she had this dog that used to, it was the old dog, like a 15 year old dog. Okay. And she used to keep it in a cage in the lounge room because it was like minus two degrees outside. And the question is this dog used to shit all over the lounge room floor and she used to pick it up with tissues and toilet paper. Is that hygienically clean if she's then going to go and prepare food in the same living space? Only if you lick your fingers clean, like after you eat fried chicken. Otherwise, no, it's definitely nasty. But the poor dog living on a uh, porch. No, uh, it was, that dog was inside. She wouldn't put it out. Could I put the dog outside or would the bastard die? Yeah, no, he could go out and have a quick pee for five minutes. It's hygienically clean for the dog. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. So, okay. You know what? I'm the kind of guy. I'm listen. I'm picking up dog poop all day long, and uh, you know, there's a technique here. You have to open the bag, you know, really well, and then when you put the poop in, you have to be sure to wash your hands after. Very important. You know something? I've just ordered some straps. Guys, there's a new link here. I gotta try it. I'm sorry. It's it's on. Oh. It's under the new uh, Archie Luxury Extended Soundboard, and it's entitled "Experimental Japanese Lady." boy and I, I gotta I just gotta the sucker horn warned me when I was doing that experimental phase with that young Chinese Japanese lady boy he told me she's gonna bite you she's gonna kick you in the ass Archie wow Super okay. got 250 Filipino pesos by El Chupacabra Thoughts on the Bulgari... Oh, God. Here we go again. Oh, my goodness. Thoughts on the Bulgari Octo Finissimo and Octo Solo Tempo. Both Gerald Gentry designs. P.S. One U.S. dollar equals 50 Filipino pesos. I'd send dollars, but YouTube UI won't let me. And by the way, also, if you're, if you're, on, if you're on the iPhone, if you, go to, if you download the Google uh, Google Chat, I think it is, you can actually, it's no problem to send super chats quickly and easily. Oh, Google Hangouts. And let me say Google. to you, I am not racist. I welcome pesos with open heart. Okay. I love the peso. No, 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 no. You're you not, you're not building, right. building a wall to pesos. Is that what you're saying? No, I love no, the you peso. Can, no, you only can claim open heart if you have a zenith. You know, while you were. <laughs> Whilst you were talking, I actually bought some NATO straps. How's that for crazy? No. No, actually. No, of course, I've got a couple of, uh, of PAM straps by uh, Combat Straps from this kid, Aaron Bespoke, in Toronto. Oh, they're course, expensive, but. Yeah. And of course. I you like cheap straps. Since he is not a sponsor, an official sponsor of the Archie Luxury Channel, I would not in any way recommend that you buy his straps. No, that's right, Clive. No, I Did I like hear you admit that you only like cheap chaps? Is that what you said? Assless chap. Oh. That's exactly okay, uh, it. $2 super chat, Stephen K. Interesting. That we're, now we're getting into the philosophical. Mark, are there gay dogs? And can they also dance? Ah, fuck. This is a very good question. Actually, what yeah. You, you see homosexual behavior in all manner of beasts. I mean, just Google it and you'll see male lions doing it and whales and dolphins. And uh, I don't know if you could call it gay because I, I don't know if, you, if it's a distinct preference only for same gender. But you do find acts of homosexuality through nature. Uh, so, now, so you think so you're saying roughly about 10%? I, I missed that. Isn't it roughly about 10%? You see that it, well, that, in, you know what the, I, I don't know. I, I think we need a sociologist for that, but I don't, I don't know what it is in the wild kingdom. I know in my house, it's about 100%. <laughs> I'm not sure about your okay. house. $5 super chat. Dr. BBW, which paint color would you prescribe for AC3 
when his arsehole gets opened up, why open a browser's bed when his protect wire requires service? I'm going to go full, full Rush Limbaugh. I think I think he's going to have to need some OxyContin for that. Well, you know, if I could interject, I myself did not go to medical school, but I would prescribe CBD oil because it will not only calm the nerves, but it, it will lube him up for the first time. He's, he's, he's against that sort of thing. I've tried to talk to him about that. He's against it. Just a thought. I have, love that. Are you a, a little point one of those a long way? Listen, Doc, a severe, you know, a pretty damn good case of osteoarthritis, which is requiring 200 to 400 milligrams of Celebrex per day. CBD oil added into the mix? Yes or no? What do you think? Clive is at it again. Um, this is my only chance for uh, for a free consultation without getting my without putting my feet up in the stirrups. What about I think, What about I think the four twenty might, might you might be able to substitute four twenty for for uh, for everything else there. I just need the oil, man. I can't take the THC. It makes me it makes me weird. The oil, it's not as proven, so we don't know exactly which component is 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 doing the magic in terms of the therapeutics. Mm -hmm. uh, so we don't really know. There's not enough studies on it. The problem is, like you, I can't work high. You know, I cannot work impaired. So that's the problem. Oh, wait a minute, guys. I think Archie's leaving. What do you guys really <laughs> think about him? <laughs> I want your chair on that soundboard, guys. Oh, no. It, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> oh, it is this guy has thought of everything, literally. <laughs> how much did somebody wants to know how much to ban the soundboard? Yes, yes, that's exactly. This is that. Super chat, Merrick W. Sound soundboards, oneapps.com, Archie Luxury. So, oh, he okay, nice it's try. Funny. But as we know, to really get the officially, officially approved and sanctioned. Archie Luxury Soundboard, you have to be an Archie Luxury Patreon customer. He did get up, didn't he? He's, he's yep, gone. He fucking did. Yeah, he's gone. So he's either gone to uh, pick up dog poo, uh, a pizza, Dairy Queen, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I think we should lay odds on what he comes back with. I think we should do, I think we should all pull out our soundboards and have an Archie off. What if we just all hung up and he came back and he was alone? Well, but still, I mean, here's here's my favorite, okay? Uh, I gotta be completely honest with you. I love butt fuckers, butt fuckers. You know what? Just Clyde, fill in for him. Just we're gonna you, you, you run I the arc. I ever think. <sighs> run, run the arc, by the way. Okay, Clive, did, you, did, you just, did you just Don hangs me here? Did you just kick me off? No, you're here. No, no one paid money. We have Sam. The okay. Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Fucking Moon. Shit is. <laughs> you know, it's so, a, it's about as good as having him. It really is, actually. It's it's virtual Archie. It but might be bad. okay, McAllister, McAllister, you need to do more e begging. We need more e-begging clips. That's that's what we're seriously missing. It's I mean, true. you know, we can we there's three watch references, so we can already do ninety nine point five percent of Archie Luxury watch reviews. <laughs> we have Lady Boys. We have the squeaking chair. We have we have the sliding. I mean, we have the sliding doors. I give you juice. I give you breakfast. I give you juice. Oh, that's that's the Nana. Yeah, the Nana, that's the full Nana Kim. <laughs> Do we have any Nana Kim outtakes on the soundboard? Uh, no, but here's the trouble. We're almost. It needs to almost. There's almost too much on there. Because people are morons. <laughs> well, uh, El Chupacabra is pointing out in the. Uh, he's defending himself about those pesos, and he says in the Philippines, 250 pesos could have fed five children here. And uh, Chupacabra, what I'd like to point out is, is that you threw that 250 pesos at Archie Luxury instead of feeding five little, you know, five little leopard children on the streets of Manila. So uh, uh, yeah. you, you might have to rethink oh. your position. 
Well, on the other hand, Archie Luxury could probably feed 500 children. It's true, but we I, we have a problem finding a spit that could support his weight. <laughs> Not to mention the horns would dig burrows in the ground when he's going around and around. Do you think that those would be like the fillet? Like, would they be tender or juicier? Like, that would be like the fillet part of a porterhouse steak, the, you know, the little... Mm, nice. The little point part of it. Nice. Yeah. Like, maybe they would cook faster. Um, the- okay. Now, here's what we can do. Here, here's one of the things about the soundboard I've also just... It's almost... we. Can, it's Picture, if you will, everyone, close your eyes and picture a room full of Archie Luxuries arguing with each other. <laughs> Push all the buttons? <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what you do. It sounds like, and it sounds like they're all yelling at each other, which is kind of appropriate because that's exactly what would happen. So, um, so tell me, Don, what you looking at any watches anytime in the near future? Oh, okay. Five dollar super chat. What do you think of this idea? Once Archie gets out of jail, we buy him a ticket to America, and we all get together for a weekend meetup. Yes, Neo, at your house, not mine. Your <laughs> house. Your house. I have a spare dog kennel. Okay. Well, actually, yeah. I can host. I, I volunteer to host, and uh, Chicago is sort of, you know, mid-country. Everybody, everybody can get to Chicago, and I can do, and I can take care of that worming. I don't know why, but I am seeing Doctor Bruce's avatar on twice. Doctor, he fell off. No, he didn't. <clears throat> okay, Doctor. Yes. Are you kicking me off? No, I'm not kicking you off. Look, you can see my hands at all times. Yeah. Why, why is the avatar there twice? Because I got kicked off, but yet I don't know what's going on. Well, what, uh, hold what on. Uh, okay. I'm wearing a G, I'm wearing a I'm wearing a Brightling right now, but I wore a G Shock all day. And it wasn't until about 10 minutes ago that I remembered to take off my G-Shock. So, Very I'm wearing, nice. I'm wearing Dan, a steel fit. Dan Kuddle said you'll be picking up Archie poop with a bag. <laughs> it's probably got Giardia. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that Archie has Giardia and it's affecting his like, psychological profile. Now, what is Giardia? Is that an internal parasite? It, it is indeed. It's a uh, it's a tiny little parasite, usually killed with a, a specific gut antibiotic, which has a side effect of killing Giardia. It comes from like eating goose shit and drinking water that's you know groundwater. Highly communicable. You do not want to sniff your buddy's butt, or you you're, you're coming away with Giardia. Mm. Yeah. Well, you've seen, you've seen shots of the Brisbane River. That's look, that stuff looks pretty nasty, anyway. Very similar. You got to watch out for salties in the Brisbane River. Salt cro- they got saltwater crocodiles that are like thirty feet long. Thirty wow. feet long. They now I would say geography is it's pretty rarely encountered in the Western world, but then again, so are carpet beetles. So you might well, be able to ask you the effect of carpet. Can carpet beetles actually infiltrate the you know the, the cranial? The brain can they make it past the membrane? Can they actually like eat your, you know, eat your cerebral cortex? That's why things happen in here. Like I've never heard of that, but then I did see it on Star Trek. Right in the ear. That was an earwig, but it's a very similar, very similar kind of a similar thing. Absolutely. So Archie's really gone. I think so. Um. Well, we can either soundboard or actually have a reasonable discussion about watches. Oh, here we go. Five. Which one of the following YouTube gurus were actually banned from the first forums on first blog? Mark Tabo, Mark Tabo, Tabo Goldberg. That is really hard to say. Archibald Shitterfield yeah. III. So hard about I, that. I would say Archibald Shitterfield III because he's been banned from every forum other than F one six nine BBS. That's I was, actually I was banned from there as well for making lurid ma- remarks. Yeah, I was banned. I was banned. Okay, uh, I'm totally. I'm, okay, that's what uh, happens when you get the benefit of the doubt. I've yep. been banned from Rolex forum more times than I've had hot dinners. I've been banned from Breitling Source. I've been banned from the Purse forum. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Where, and I myself am a member of all of them with the exception of the purse forum. But I'm, 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 you know, I'm a moderator, I'm an administrator on Saturday was, Watch Enthusiast, and I'm a member of the Fist Horological. I was banned from Purist Pro. Well, I'm actually going through. I don't see anything on here. Um, Hotsey, ew. Just ew. What, what Hotsey? Uh, vintage watches. Thanks, guys. I bought my first Rolex because of art. I bought numerous vintage pieces thanks to watching Clyde. Enjoy your week. Well, thank you, vintage watches. And you've actually... <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Clyde, how do, you, do you like the reverse? I like it very much. I need you to like actually get more. Clyde, you buy watches off of the wrist of dead people at The Undertaker. That's how you get uh, your deal. Yeah, by the way, he said he's ready anytime you are. All of, them, all of your watches smell a little bit like embalming fluid. Why is that? Well, yeah, that's what keeps, that's what keeps the leather looking so pristine. Did you know, you guys? What at one time there, I did actually buy a um, watch, a Mark, date just. It was a sixteen two two zero from a widow. Right on. And I said, <laughs> and I said to him, I said to him, he's dead, isn't he? She just nodded her head. That's what she just the head. I said, he's dead, isn't he? The head was just nodding. That's all she said. I said, I don't want to know anymore. I don't want to know anymore. Was he wearing it when he died? I don't want to know anymore. So it is not formaldehyde aftershave. No, but the funny thing is it had all his gunk in the bracelet because it was a jubilee and it was clogged up with all his sweat in that there. Might not be sweat. Body cheese. That's like DNA material. You could actually clone somebody from their body cheese, right, Doc? I think I saw it on CSI. <laughs> yeah, I, think I, saw on, I think I saw it on you, porn. I can't tell us. He got up again. You seriously got up again. So that was not you. That was actually Archie with the chair squeak. Yeah, in the in the yeah. Starting to drive actually, crazy. actually, Mark, do you want to see? Do you want to know what Hotsey looks like? Yeah, sure. Let's see. What do you got? Uh, actually, kind of hot seat to be honest. Hold on, uh, Vulcan. Okay, Michael Beach, Vulcan, cool watch of presidents or shitter. I think those little boogers are cool, but I, I don't know that they're very popular now. And they're small, you know, they're like 34 to 36 millimeters, right? But I think they're very cool. All right, hold on. <laughs> Those little, those little tiny alarm clock watches. Yes. I think they're cute, but they're too small. Exactly. Let me look. What are you looking at? I blew up her avatar. She looks like a, that's like, I think she's using some actress as an avatar. No, no, that's actually, that's actually, no. That's actually her. Yeah. Well, she's adorable, but she's not my type. Really? What do you mean? Oh, right, right, yeah. Hello. What is it? What is it? Is that it? About vagine and boobs and bobs. You don't understand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, well, yeah, she, we know, she, we knows, she knows. Okay. Okay. Any other what wrist talk you guys want to talk about? Um, okay. We could play AMA while Archie's gone. Anyone? Doctor <laughs> Mark, you up for that? I'm sorry. Can, can I just read a comment that was not super chatted? But Go ahead. Stephen, Stephen Miller, speaking about the volcano, says you can pretend you are LBJ. Maybe JFK alarm to go off. I found, I found that amusing. That was actually not bad. And I take it you've already talked about the OP topic. Uh, yes, we have. We've thoroughly covered it, and no, we haven't. We haven't even talked about it. Oh, hey, Arch, what you eating? Oh, I'm eating. I made some food, right? Yeah, what kind? We were taking bets. It's an egg muffin. An egg muffin. I made two of them, just in oh, case I'm a little bit extra hungry. I'll tell you mm -hmm. what, an egg muffin never came up in the, in the lineup. We had, we were, we were betting on pizza, Dairy Queen, KFC. 
but we never imagined an egg muffin. Now, did you fry that egg from scratch, or is that a pre-prepared? Yeah, no, no, it fried from scratch. Did you? Oh, did McGaster has his own channel, guys. I'll have to check that out. Hey, Mark, did you also check out Uwe's latest couple of latest videos? Uwe? Archie Luxury International Man of Mystery and uh, Archie Archie Loves KFC. <laughs> That's not, that's not good for me. I can't watch that kind of thing. I can't watch people eat delicious food. It makes me want to eat. Although tonight, tonight's meal is, I'm, I'm going to Easter dinner. Oh, I'm really? Going, okay. You mean, yeah. I've been invited to Friday dinner. I'm going to meet the family. You know, I'm going to meet, yeah, this is a little freaky. I'm going to meet my guy's family for the first time. So it's a this little is tomorrow. Fun. Yeah. Oh, uh, wow. are they supportive? Are they supportive, Mark? Well, I'm pretty sure. You know, I think he popped out of the womb, you know, wearing glitter. So yeah, I think so. But you know, it'll be it's the first time, so we'll see. Okay, uh, here, here's a super, here, not a super chat, but a live comment by Finchy. If only Archie knew he was going to be on live with Clive, he could be prepared. Oh wait, it happens every week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, right. so, preparation okay. is overrated uh, actually yes um clive can you be my lawyer in return for a parness no next question change camera please it says cesar aguara okay so mark what did you have you kept up with any of the work, work, news from basil world I made a couple of videos about the um, about some of the Rolex stuff that they uh, right. The, they took the James Cameron iteration number one, which is By the, the way, one. Super, that, sorry, super chat. See, every time we get something going, we start talking about. So I I think he's waiting for us. Okay, all right. Now the class is here. Please help tell him how much of a hillbilly he is. We're not really taking a minty 5107R box papers for 15K, but buying Movado. Who bought Movado? <laughs> Clyde. <laughs> 50s Movado. At least it's vintage. At least it's vintage. That's exactly it. At least it's, not, at least it's vintage. And it has. Oh, yeah. 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 It shares DNA with Patek Philippe's of the era. I'm a little March concerned that smalls may require a home like maneuver. You sound like you're choking in that egg. I know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, we might have to teach you how to do a self-inflicted hiney like maneuver. That's where you jam the chair into your own. Where you jam the chair into your own gut. For the <laughs> you know, it's important that you know that because if you're choking when you're all alone, you need to be able to. You need to be able to Heimlich yourself. Or as I like exactly. to call it, the honey like maneuver. Oh. Hey, that's exactly it. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. So uh, okay. what were you talking about? Oh, so Basil Wolf. So the one one triple six zero, which is the James Cameron deep blue DT watch, has been discontinued and then a new version has been released. And it is the two one triple six zero. And what they did was they took the band, the, the bracelet, which tapered to a, an overly narrow 19 millimeters, and they expanded it out to like 20, 22 millimeters so that it would be more stable on the wrist. And they redesigned the case and lugs a little bit to make that possible. So um, I actually have a question for you guys, and I think the plaintiff might know more about this. But Archie, when they discontinued the reference number, and come out with a re-release of it with a separate reference number, what does that do to the value of the discontinued reference number? Any variation increases the value of it, doesn't it? That's what I thought. So the fact that the fact that my one one triple six zero The only problem is is that like no. Amiga, they release far too fucking many. I think maybe Rolex may be crying wolf too many fucking times and it's about to it's, burst. I think it's I think no, I think it's I think it's um, I think it's a little bit a tiny bit more complex than that. You know, of course, and Archie's more of a simplex sort of guy. But 
I think initially it would depress the value because the newer watch would be seen as an improvement. Yes. I think in the long term, however, I think that this continued model, as it becomes scarcer and scarcer, will go up in value. So short term bad, long term good. I, I, I'm with you on that because there are a lot of people who did not like that first iteration, and that's why they fixed it. Rolex doesn't make a whole lot of mistakes, but they made a mistake with that watch. Now the um, the black the black dial, the black version of the one one triple six O came out in 2008, and then they just repeated it in 2018 very early. So it was like nine years and a few months that that watch was out. So there's plenty of those out there. But that James Cameron edition uh, was a, came out only in um, 2014. So it was really only around for three years and a couple months before it was discontinued. And that means there just can't be that many of them around there. So, um, well, and, well, on the other hand, it was... That was incredibly popular, though, too, but because sometimes, you know, up and left is right, up is down, and uh, topsy is turvy. I think the problem with it, I mean, very long term, because the more unpopular in the short term a uh, reference is, the more long, the more popular it becomes in the long term because, the, you know, people appreciate the scarcity of it. I don't think there were many of them out there. Like for example, uh, the, the Batman. Every collector, every collector who has Rolex has a Batman. But that is not true of the James Cameron. There are very few of them out there. Um, it was a it was a really difficult to source watch, and and all the way up through the discontinuation of it, it was available mostly from gray market dealers over list. So it was around for three years. Oh, and the other thing is, it's the only Rolex that was ever officially named after anybody, because every other every other nickname. Uh -huh. Of a watch like the Paul Newman, etc. That the, the Batman, those names were given by collectors, right? But Rolex made that deal with uh, the Cameron. So I have I, what anyway, a great deal! Don't you think he, he he's in the money for life? Then isn't he? No, Rolex doesn't fucking care. You know, actually, I would like I would like to start something online. You know, the older uh, precision from the forties. Yes, that was the one. The one from well, LA Confidential with the horned lugs. Yeah, I think we. I'd like to start have everyone start calling that the Archie Luxury Rolex because of the horned lugs. Yes. Ah, very cool. Now, and, and also it hasn't. You know, okay. And uh, Mark, why haven't you taken the Pontus advice and purchased the Rolex Explorer too? Stop, stop backing with your pet pong fake and PJ. Well, I resemble that remark. First of all, as for my fake Rolex Deep Blue, the one I have now is real. I made a video about having purchased a fake in Thailand and wearing it for a couple weeks just to make sure that I could pull off a, a, a watch that size, and then I got rid of that fake. So uh, I have a real uh, Deep Blue, number one. Number two, I did take the Pontus advice. And I did buy an Explorer too, and I kept it for I don't know maybe six or seven months, and then I flipped it because although it's a cool watch, it, and, and especially at the price that I, I got it when it, when you could still get them in the very high threes, it was a great bargain. Um, on the one hand, on the other hand, it is like a thirty-nine millimeter, eleven millimeter thick watch. It for and with. The hollow center links, and I just found it to be too flimsy. I didn't like it. Uh, it was just, it had zero risk presence. Except for the white dial, which was cool, and it didn't function. So I was kind of torn on that watch. I really wanted to like the Polar Explorer Archie, but I just couldn't do it. It was too, too small for me, I think. I sold it to Bruce Williams, who made a video, a real nice video, on it, and then he sold it. <laughs> so it's 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 been released well, that's back. actually when you think of no that's actually paying the ultimate homage to Archie Luxury is flipping a Rolex. Yeah, there you go. That's true. I bought it and uh, I enjoyed it, and then I sent it on its merry way. So what? Do, I I uh, bought one, and then I bought a more expensive, older one. Look how little and cute it is. Yes, it is. It's very little yes. And cute. But on the other hand, you know, you know what I love about this one, right? Patina. Yes. Well, if it's tritium, that's then that's a whole different ballgame. Fuck yes, it is. 
Yeah. Thank you. When you get a, yeah, when you get a, when you get a, when you have one that's pretty, but that was the problem. Mine wasn't pretty, and so it was never going to age. I bought it at that awkward, like sort of like late '90s stage, where early 2000s, I guess, where it was just you bought, it was like, it was embalmed. You bought the you bought the Jan Brady. <laughs> yes, I sadly I did. It was just never going to it was never going to age. It's still wearing a trace. No, okay. So, what do you think about the uh, Rolex Pepsi, the GMT two? Well, I made a, I made a, you know, I made a video about that too, and I think um, it's going to be very popular. I think it's going to be very hard to source. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be on the gray market over lists. I think it will be much tighter controlled than the Batman, and um, uh, it'll drive down the price of a Batman, maybe. Well, I think you know that the. I, in my video, I suggested that that may happen short term. Um, what it makes me wonder is if they're going to ultimately discontinue the Batman. I think the Batman is a collectible watch, but I don't think it's in as short a supply as people like to say. You can, if you want to get a Batman, you can pick one up within a month. Um, it's not a difficult to find watch. Um, yes, Batman, so you're saying, so you're, you're saying these people have fallen victim to the Rolex Fonzie scheme. I think that the Batman is a little bit like the, the what was that Dutch tulip scandal, you know? It's a little bit like that. Um, it's all manipulated supply and demand. And I think the Pepsi is going to be even more tightly controlled. The people who ought to be annoyed about that Pepsi are the are the guys who own that white gold one. I mean, they bought a forty thousand dollar, you know, they bought a forty thousand dollar watch, and now there's a, you know, what is it, twelve thousand dollar version. But I think it's going to be hard to find. By the way, by the way, can I just point out one thing? The one, I mean, someone who did uniformly and consistently point out it would be a Pepsi rather than a Coke. Yeah, you were right. You get to be right about that. Yeah, and, and, and people are saying, well, they're going to do a Coke because that will devalue all the white gold Pepsis. And my point was, Rolex doesn't fucking care about the value of your white gold Pepsis. Well, they put it on the Jubilee to distinguish it, so that you, by looking at it right away, you know, you know which one it is. But um, I'm not a great big fan of the. Uh, listen, I'm not a giant fan of the Jubilee bracelet. I, I, you know, I have one on a, on a day chest, I, and it's real comfortable. But for whatever reason, it's um, it's a little too flashy for me. I I, I like the cool watch look a little bit more. Um, so to me, it's oddly flashy for a cool watch. Um, and also, they redesigned the case and the lugs of the Pepsi GMT, so nobody is going to be able to take that Jubilee bracelet off and put an Oyster bracelet on, and Oyster won't fit. Um, so eventually, I'm pretty sure that Rubber B and Everest will make uh, bands that will fit it, but then you're having to take, yeah, you'll have to put rubber on it if you want to change it. So, um, okay. Archie? Archie. $5 Super Chat. Archie. Back, back, back. Sorry, yeah. sorry, you can interrupt sorry, do you mind if we interrupt your personal phone sure, call for your sure, fucking sure. channel? Is that all right? Sure, 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 sure. Inconvenience. Sure, 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 sure. Right. sure, sure. Archie. Archie. I see, I see. I see, I see, I understand. He's not, not going to like this question. You are not going to like this question, Archie. Five bucks okay. is five bucks. Yeah, true. Exactly. That's uh, actually, I saw, I saw a, a pen saying, I'm not gay. A lapel pin. I'm not. I'm not gay. But twenty dollars is twenty dollars. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, we're all laughing about that in the forum. Uh, Archie, do you think you would get a different level of moan from Mimi T if you put your hands on her ass, wearing a Latona versus an Orient Ray Two? I gotta go, boys. Behave. Catch you next time and soon. <clears throat> Marky Mark, you good. Yeah. I don't think I'd hear anything because I wouldn't do that. Staff members are off bounds. Staff she's, not a, she's not a staff member now. So, therefore, your objection is overruled. Overruled. Um, I heard you made a statement off air that when you're Archie 3, they let you yes. grab them anywhere. <laughs> you said. Something like that. Jesus Christ. Hey, uh, now look. He kind of thought that tape recorder was off. And those sound crews were total fucking Democrats. That was a goddamn setup, and you know it was. Yes, that's exactly it. 
All right. Well, you think that we've had enough fun? Do we want to call it a night? Yeah, we'll call it a night. It's I want to mention one thing before you do, because you were talking about uh, your Mabato and the DNA being Patek Philippe, right? Yes. Oh, go I ahead. Wanted, I wanted to point out that I've done research, and my conclusion based on my research, the Gloria Genève shares DNA with Bauman Mercer. So is it really a shitter? I don't know if that increases the value or decreases it. As soon oh, as come you, on now. you can't get a vintage bomb and Mercer for less than four or five grand. Yes, you can. Okay, nice gentlemen, gentlemen. Okay, Archie, you take Corona 24. I will yes. take eBay. <laughs> well, let's No, let's do this. Yes, let's just show that. I'm talking about chronograph now. I'm not talking about some some... No date, blah. No, chronograph. Bomb and Mercer chronograph. Yeah, I know you don't like them. Still I'm, don't simply, like I'm simply pointing out that there's shared DNA. Because Gloria Genev, you open up a lot of these other watch cases, and then on the inside it's stamped Gloria Genev. Wow. They were like the zenith of, of a lot of these brands. Amazing. I'm not, I'm not saying that's the reason I like my Gloria. I but I am saying that there's some justification there. That's all I wanted to point out. That's why I changed my avatar. I've got, I've got now both of the Daytonas and Gloria in one shot there. Wow. Oh, beautiful. What should we, uh, should we call it a night or should we take a break? What, what do uh, you say? Whatever you want to do guys, you're in charge. I was still going to try to do a little happy hour myself. Okay. We'll call it a night, guys. Thank you so much. You're coming back tomorrow? Uh, if I do, it won't be until late. I've got a, there's. That's okay. There, there's a, no, there's you a have function. A life. There's a, you have something called a life. Yeah. There's a subject I'm going to, there's a thing I'm going to, hopefully, to, in, unless I really get snared in. No worries. All right. Well, are you, are you want to end the. Uh, yep. We'll end it now, guys.